And we're we're piecing it. This was one shipment. This was one shipment. This was one shipment. We're piecing it together little bit by little bit. No, I said I said you know how like old people when they show pictures they're like tiny and grainy and black and white you can't tell anything. Uh, I have a tiny grainy black and white picture. I'm old. All of them. Oh, okay. Hi, Lazy Toke. Welcome in. Zero Kerbal, it's good to see you. Just got an ad. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you guys rated right as the ad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's when it doesn't work. It's not effective. What were you working on, Linux? Tell me about it. Tewa, no, Tewa old. Sparkles. Tewa old. You know, I... I is there is there enough attention in the world, chat? Is there enough attention in the world to where this where is it at? Is it really to where wait, where did it go? To where this could be a Tawa boomer emote? <laughs> Bug fixing and updates? Gotcha. Tawa Boomer. There you go. See? Some sort of serious, serious, This is one of the other ones I've had I animated. <laughs> That's a no vote from you. All right. I've been here with you and it's getting cheeky. Oh, I got you. You're getting cheeky with it. No, 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 no. Linux, have have you have you fixed the bug with all the patch conics? The patch conics bugs are driving me nuts, and I hate them. All the double precision is stupid, and they need to revert that. You had to hand crank the video game. I mean, I had one of those too. Sparkles, you're young. You're you just turned twenty. Get out of here. I think it's animated fine, just doesn't evoke boomer to you. I got you. And and when you said yelling at clouds entropy, when I gave the idea to my artist, I said please use old man yells at cloud as as inspiration. So yeah, Tawa old is that personified. What patch conics bugs? So let's say this is a craft and I'm going to go to the mun. Okay? And what I'll do is I'll set I'll set a maneuver, I'll add a maneuver, I'll go out, and we'll hit the mun, like this, right? Then I burn. I burn exactly how it wants me to burn. All of a sudden, I'm not going to hit the mun. I fly right around, the mun passes by, and then I come right over here, and I miss the mun. Eve. For Eve, it's taking me an extra 700 to 1,000 delta V to catch Eve. Because the first burn I set up and I do it, it doesn't put me where it's supposed to put me. It puts me off somewhere else. And I have to go out and... it, Dude, it's all messed up. It's, my VODs are riddled with it. I've had to redo my Eve burn four or five times. Yeah, Linux. I Any mods? No, I'm running... This is a fresh install as of like a month ago. It's... I hate it, dude. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And it all started after they did their double precision patch. That 1.12 patch was garbage, man. They they really man, this game this game is in rough shape right now, overall. You have to ask. What's up? Ask away. You mean the mods question? That's fine. All right, let's go. Um, we need docking ports. Two docking ports. Three, four, five, six docking ports. And a tug. Six docking ports and a tug, and we have an engineer on board. All right, let's go back. We need to download uh, 3X Precision DLC coming in August. Yeah, no. I'm good, Cybex. I'll pass on that. One, two, three, four... Five, six... Docking ports. And I want struts, too. I gotta get struts. Alright, so let's build a new one. Uh, I think we're on... 
24 EFG. ASA 024G. Uh, this, excuse me. Docking ports and struts. Beautiful. I'm going to probe it. <clears throat> also, Linux. How about this bug? This is a fun bug. I hate this one. Every single probe, you build it as a root part, you right click it, and it disappears. Only way to fix it is to take it, move it first, and then you can interact with it. That one's been around since 1.10. They haven't fixed that one yet at all. It's all kinds of fun stuff, man. You're checking the bug tracker? I think I think that one's been noted. <clears throat> I thought it was just me. I thought it was just one of the mods I was working on. Nope, zero Kerbal. It's literally in the base game. Clampotron. Oh, God. Really? They're that big? Maybe I can just attach them to the ship. Damn it. These container modules are rough. All right, let's do um, struts. You come over here and load struts up. Strut, 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 strut. Is there a way to, to load multiple in one, or is it just single-clicking everything? You've broken the base game yet again? No, there's... Dude, there's so many bugs in this game. There's one where uh, you can lose the crew module uh, signing for Kerbals. Like, the crew module's empty. And you have to, like, save the craft, leave the VAB, restart the game, and then it works. <laughs> Zero Kerbal. And those things are big. So yeah, we're just going to get a bunch of struts. Change the color of them. I want gray struts. I don't want those white struts. I want gray ones. Okay, so we'll load that up. Um... Then I guess we will do this into a control wheel, into a 1-8 tank. Hi, Warscar. Have a good night, dude. Oh, you said you're back. Never mind. I thought you said you were leaving. Hi, Warscar. Welcome back. Good to have you here, dude. You didn't fall asleep. That's a good thing, right? Maybe? Two, three, four, five, six docking ports. Does the weight change that much? No. Okay. So it's just the game being weird. Alright, those are my replacement docking ports, or my new docking ports for the ship. Um. Batteries. I can pinpoint why your face is so familiar. It's a nice face, it's a pretty face, but where have I seen it? I have a very familiar looking face, Pyro. I, I, a lot of people come to me and go, do I know you? It's just a very familiar looking face. I, I look like one of the quote unquote, good old boys down here in the south. I don't know what that means, but Take it as your at your leisure. But hi, my friend. I hope you're well. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Good old boys drinking whiskey and rye, singing. This will be the day that I die. Didn't we see that enough during Snowrunner? You remember when the Patch Connex double precision bug happened? When they when they announced the patch, what was it? KSP 1.112 notes. 
Hold on. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Let me. Let me. I'm using Synergy. One second. I can copy and paste links. Uh, double. No? Was it 1.11? Hold on. KSP patch. It was this one. Oh, it, it was this one. I remember the text now. Uh, right here. Amended delta V and orbital calculations to use double precision. Then they were cocky and put it in there twice because they're like, hee <laughs> double precision. Get it? So, yeah, right there. 1.11, Linux. 1.11. I was 1.11. Amended delta V and orbital calcs to use double precision. That's that's what broke it. Got a bug report now? It's horrible, dude. Like, I'm trying to do a, a fresh new career and trying to get to, like... I'm afraid to go to Moho. Moho's already a bitch. I'm afraid to go there now because if I go there with everything messed up, it's going to cost me 45,000 delta V. Sparkle, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it was just a joke because it's double precision. Or at least I felt like that to me. All right, if I put a rocket on this, is that a rocket in your pocket? You think saying hi, we can be friends? You're freaking right. <laughs> you think I can just waltz in here and get said hi to? <laughs> Cybex! Don't do it, Cybex! It's a trap! I'm kidding. 2838. 2846. Okay. And we weigh how much? Nine tons. Alright, that's easy. That's easy. Is there anything else I need on this shipment that goes up? Docking porch struts. Probably not. The engineer's going to be a busy bee with this one. Let me put some ladders on here, maybe? Let's put some ladders on here. Actually, I should have done this. There we go. All of them except for the one that has the antenna. So not this one here. Move from symmetry, please. Stop it. Grab the ladder. Thanks. Alright, cool. Okay, next stage. It's going to be altitude 30 kilometers. Uh, I put I put a control wheel on there. We're good there. This one's gonna go here. We'll tuck a control wheel underneath this as well. You did it. Good job, Tin Can. I knew you could do it, my friend. Congrats. You died on reentry, but you did it. <laughs> You gotta work on that re-entry. <laughs> How far did you, what was your periapsis when you came in? Was it less than 40? <clears throat> 43, but you forgot your heat shield. Oh, okay. Heat shields are important when you're coming back. If you're in, if you're in low carbon orbit, you really don't need one. But if you come from anywhere else, you need a, you need a heat shield. It was a little toasty. Oh, I, I can imagine. But hey, you know what? Congrats. At least now you know how to do it. Next step is to tighten up your orbit and land. 
that's going to be even more difficult. You're going to you're going to get a Kerbal stuck out there and it's okay. Don't feel bad. But you're going to land a Kerbal there and have no Delta V to get back home. <laughs> he shields that important for re-entry. Just, just a little bit. Just just know that literally everyone has done that, Tin Can. You land your first Kerbal there and they're stuck. I still do it. I've got 1,200 hours in the game. Yeah, oh my am, exactly. He'll just love life. I have 28 tons. This puts me at 44. It gives me six left. Four left. Oh, that's right, 18. Uh, I got four tons. Four tons is our vector. Vector at 70%. Oh, wait, this is all wrong. 1676 at 1.34. And our tonnage is 50.028. All right, what do I need to take off? What can I shave off for weight? I have an antenna. I got a docking port. I need all of that. I'll just take a little bit of fuel off. It's fine. I'll take it off from here. 49.428. Okay, so we can go like 506.25. Eh, let's go 520 and 650. 49,878. Okay, so we can just go like 530 then. <clears throat> 928. Alright, that's cool. That works. We're below tonnage. Docking port struts. Save. Let's go. We out! Just leave your Kerbal a volleyball. <laughs> Endless hours of entertainment for your Kerbal. Endless. Five, four, three, two, one. Oops. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here, Chief. Three. Yeah, interesting. He's not stuck yet. That's true. <clears throat> Can't seem to put any of my rockets in the new folder I made. I don't know anything about both folders, Lazy Tote. Does it only happen in career, or have you seen it in Sandbox? I don't play Sandbox, Linux. So I don't know. That's a good question, though. All right, I do play in sandbox. I just haven't done that yet. I usually just warp my ships to places where I'm testing them. Like if I want to enter Eve, I just warp it to orbit of Eve and re-enter. So I don't, I don't use patch conics on. <laughs> I don't use patch conics in sandbox. I'm sorry, bud. <clears throat> I accidentally staged. I didn't mean to. 
<laughs> oh god. I think I'm fine though. <laughs> right, War Scar? I think I think I'm okay. Antenna. Seems to be flying just fine. Yeah, uh, sometimes there's like a, a half stage. And it didn't actually like do any damage or anything. Or send me out on a weird spiral or kill me. <clears throat> didn't count it. Well, you, you can hear it stage, but it doesn't stage. That, that, that's that been something in the game for a while. I don't know what it is, but it's a... It's one of those bugs that's good to have sometimes. Or maybe it's just something I'm doing wrong. But I'm not worried about it, regardless. Isn't there a fair time sink? I'll happily watch you play, because it's such a happy place. But I fear uh, the persuasion. Oh, it's okay. I don't play this every day. Tomorrow, we're going back into RimWorld again. In fact, I'm probably going to be putting 12 hours into RimWorld tomorrow. Yeah, War Scar. That's a, that's a good way to put it. Uh -oh. I'm falling. I'm falling. there. Almost circularized. Cool. Alright. This is much needed stuff that we need for this ship here. 145 days. We got plenty of time. Seventy six thousand. That puts us really close right there. It's a one second burn. I'm gonna go half. <clears throat> Forty percent. Two second burn. We got it. Let's go. Yeah, Pyro, when I play this, I give myself uh challenges. So this one, none of my ships can be more than fifty tons. So it it creates a lot of Creative building, I guess is the word for it. So we're actually piecing together a bigger ship out around orbit with smaller pieces I can send up in my restriction. Does it happen to the Mun or Minmus, and can it be related to the size of the ships? I don't think it has to do with the size of the ships, Linux. I think it has to do with... The, the angle of attack and the distance away from the planet or the body. So if I, <clears throat> if I, if I want to just skim past the moon and pass by it at, at, a, at a wide berth, I usually miss it more often than not because the game, the game shows me I'm going to do it. And then when I warp there, it doesn't do it. <clears throat> also, when I'm coming back from like Minmus, for example, 
I'll I'll do a prograde burn facing Kerbin, you know, to, to get back into Kerbin, and it has my it has my my past conic, my 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 elliptical orbit. And then when I enter it, all of a sudden it says I'm gonna run into the Mun and kick me out into Sun orbit. But it didn't show me that before. It used to show me that because it actually picked it up. But for now, for some reason, when I when I it I, I think it has to do with warping, maybe? But when I warp around to that part, all of a sudden it shows me hitting the mun and going off that way. And it, dude, it it happens to the mun. It happens to Minmus. It, it's, it's weird. I, I can't explain it. All I know is that it sucks. You're trying to create a short video demoing it? I mean, you can send them my VOD link from today and just say, here, watch when he goes to Eve. Because it's just, it's just, a, it's horrible, dude. Engine plates? Uh, I use engine plates most of the time, yes. I use engine plates on most of my builds because I use smaller engines to push everything through space. It's more efficient with my Delta V. Yep, I like my engine plates. I know there's some inherent issues with engine plates like drag and clipping and everything else, but I I think they're great. Probably great in design, probably horrible in execution. Hi, Airborne. How are you, buddy? Have I gotten 50 tons to orbit and back? That's not what the mission is. Am I using the expansions? Yes. If I'm using engine plates, Linux... <laughs> That's in making history, I think, right? Oh, uh, let's see. Airborne, air, it's not 50 tons payload. It's 50 tons total rocket. Overwhelmed with school, needed a break. Well, you're here with us now, so make yourself at home, dude. The solar panel there. I gotta be careful about that. Um, I want to go there. So I'm gonna set that as a target. And I think we're just gonna fly like this. Spin her, spin her around, and latch her up. And the engineer's going to pop out and do some magic. All right, here we go. Begin the spin. Just kidding. I don't, I don't have to spin, but it's cool looking. I actually might break my antenna. I'll be careful. 